Good day and welcome to today's class, courtesy of edifice.ng. Today we shall be looking at construction and my name is Kaviru Abdul Qadir. Now before a good construction work can be carried out, you need some materials and they are as follows. One, you need both long and short pencils. The short pencil will be on your compass while the long, long pencil will be there for rolling lines. Then you need a clean eraser. You need long ruler. I always recommend the 30 centimeter ruler. Then you need good pair of compass. You need a protractor because sometimes when we give students any kind of angle to construct, at the end of the day we use protractor to measure and see if they actually got it or not. Then finally, you need a clean white paper. Now, the objective of today's class is, at the end of today's class, the student should be able to efficiently construct angle 90 degree, angle 60 degree, angle 45 degree, angle 30 degree, and any other angle. We are going to see how these angles can be constructed. Let us get our materials ready so that whichever instruction I give you follow. In that case, you'll be able to construct any angle you are giving to. Now let us see how we can construct angle 90. It is pretty easy. What you need to do is just to pay attention and follow. Now the first thing you are going to do when constructing angle 90 is to rule a horizontal line line AB. It depends on the centimeter they are going to give you, but in this case, they did not give us any centimeter. We are only practicing to see how we can measure or how we can construct angle 90. So having drawn a line AB, as you can see on this diagram, the next thing is to locate the center or the middle of this line. When you locate the center of this line, then you now put your pin on the center so that it will enable you to draw a semicycle X, Y. It is there on the diagram for you to see. Now, having drawn a semicycle X, Y, what you need to do is to carry your pin and put on X. And then you draw any radius of your choice. You take it up and then you'll be able to draw an arc at Z. When you draw the first arc, then you remove the pin of your protractor or compass and bring it to line Y and then when you bring it to line Y you mount it there so that you'll be able to draw the other arc still at Z. When you do that now, the intersection between the two arcs that you have drawn is where you are going to draw a vertical line from the top down to meet at line A, B. When you do that then it means you have constructed angle 90 degree. Easy, isn't it? Now since this one is very easy, we'll move to the next angle. Now the next angle now is going to be angle 45 degree. If you like, you can just go and bisect the angle 90 that you have drawn before or you start from the scratch. Now bisecting an angle means you are cutting the angle into two parts. Now when you cut 90 into two parts, you have 45 45. So it depends. Okay, let's assume we are starting from the scratch. Now what you do now is the same thing that we have done before. You draw line AB. When you draw line AB, you come to the center of the line and then you put the pin of your compass there so it will enable you to draw a semicycle. When you draw a semicycle, you label it as CD. It depends on what you want. You can label it whatever you want. I have chosen CD. Now, when you do that, you bring the pin of your compass to C. And then go to the top and draw the, your first arc. When you draw your first arc, you bring your pin to D. And then you draw your second arc. When you draw your second arc, by the time you check the intersection of this arc, you draw a vertical line from the top down to meet at line AB, then it means you have done a 90 degree angle. But remember, 90 degree angle is not what we require. 
we require angle 45 degree. So it means we are going to bisect this angle now. Bisecting means we are cutting it into two parts. So what you do now is to bring the pin of your protractor to the point E. When you bring it to the point E, you'll be able to draw the first arc there. Then you remove it and bring it to, to, to D. When you bring it to D, you'll be able to draw the second arc. Now the intersection of these two arcs is where you rule a line. You have seen a diagonal line. Now when you bring the diagonal line to meet at that ninth degree, it means they have been divided. So you have 45 degree, 45 degree. It is very simple. Now having done that, we are going to move to the construction of angle 60 degree. This one is also very easy. What you need to do is what you have been doing. So you draw a line, line AB, as you can see on this diagram. When you draw line AB, then what you need to do now is to draw an arc. But your pin is going to be on A. But this time around, your arc is going to be very big because it will cross, it will cut through line AB. Now when you draw the arc there, very big, you can see, it cuts through line AB and at C. Now when you do that, you now bring the pin of your compass and mount on C so that it will enable you to draw the second arc. Whatever line you always have to draw, they always have to meet at two arcs. Where the two of them correspond is where, or where they intersect, is where you are always going to draw your line. So you draw your line. So when you do that, it means you have drawn or you have constructed an angle 60 degree. When you have constructed your angle 60 degree, then it means we are making progress. Then we'll move to the next line now, which is the construction of angle 30 degree. Now for you to efficiently construct angle 30 degree, it means you are going to bisect your angle 60 degree. Remember that I said bisecting an angle means you are going to cut it into two equal parts. So what is happening here now is that we are going to assume we have drawn our angle 60 degree already. So what is just remaining is for us to bisect the angles. So what you do now is to bring the pin of your compass to D. So it will enable you to draw the first arc. When you do that, Still, you carry the pin of your compass and you put it at C and then it will enable you to draw the second arc. Now, where the two of them intersect now is where you are going to rule a line that will meet at A. If you do that, it means you have bisected that angle 60 degree. You now have 30, 30. Now, we have listened to construction of angle 90 degree angle 60 degree, angle 45 degree, angle 30 degree. So for you to be able to test your understanding, having practiced very, very well, then what you need to do is to construct angle 15 degree, angle 135 degree, and angle 150 degree. They are easy. What you need to do is to sometimes combine two angles, and before you know, you have formed one. Thank you very much for listening to today's class. In our subsequent classes, we are going to try and go further to construct very big angles and solve WIEC and NECO questions. Thank you very much for your time. Until we meet in the next bulletin.